Hi, this is James Cooper of James and the Giant Project. Now, many of you will have seen the construction of this fabulous wooden greenhouse that um, came together over a period of a few days. And uh, I just wanted to share with you the very first bit of planting that I'm gonna commit to the, the soil. Because as you know, um, I've got these beds uh, which um, the plants can get their roots right down into the, into the ground. So I'm watering, um, it's not gonna be such an, a massive issue. It's still gonna be an issue, but not such a massive issue. So the very first plants are these young uh, Fissilis, they're called, and these are a small, I think they're also called Chinese lanterns because they produce this rather lovely little lantern, inside of which is a brilliant little orange fruit, which is very sweet and it's very f loaded with vitamin C. In fact, um, something ridiculous like the same vitamin C as two or three oranges. Uh, so, uh, sounds great to me. Um, they love it in the greenhouse, they love it a little bit on the dry side, so I've been told. We'll see. I'm no expert in these matters, but I've got here six or eight young fissilis plants and I'm going to chuck them in this bed right here. So the first thing I've done is just to dig the bed over. I pulled out a couple of um, weeds, big dandelion. I'm just going to dig through a little bit of compost and literally just get them in a row here. Um, and that'll be it. So here you go. This is just standard uh, potting compost. It's basically. And so there you have it, 10 beautiful young fissilis plants, uh, which I'm gonna drench with water and then forget about. Michael Volpergo's point of view came hot on the heels of another hotly debated edition of the program. And so there you have it, a wonderful, uh, a small crop of fissilis. Let's see how they do. I have got great hopes for these little beauties. I want to see a fissilis jungle over here. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this little video. Uh, do join me for my next planting video in this greenhouse, which I think is going to be a grapevine over here, um, over in this corner right here. And uh, that is going to require a whole drill to the greenhouse. Uh, apparently it's a traditional way of doing it, but until then, happy gardening!